but we're going to do a advice video for people entering grade nine. Minor niners. Minor niners, <laughs> or freshmen, as I guess American people say. When we decided to pack your lunch. Nothing worse than being last in line to get some food and only having like five minutes to eat it. Yeah, first. and restaurants outside, they're packed and they're way expensive. Yeah. Just pack your own damn lunch. I mean, do it the night before so you don't have to do it in the morning and you have a little more time to sleep or get ready or whatever. Yeah. Even though it's so annoying to pack your lunch. I do it all most of the time. Or even just like, I, I don't even pack, you like always bring a sandwich or whatever. I just throw a bunch of granola bars and like <laughs> snacks in there and I call it a lunch. Yeah. So. I mean, whatever gets you through the day. Yeah. But make sure you make healthy choices. I don't want to sound like your mom, but try to pick something that's healthy. Yeah, you feel like shit if all you ate was like chocolate bar and chips <laughs> and pop and yeah. monsters. And, then, and in like a couple of days, you have like a huge honk and zit in the middle <laughs> of your forehead. That's your fault, my friend. You um, decided to pick that shit food. Use your locker. Like, take advantage of the fact that you have somewhere to put your shit that you're not using for that day. Like, you don't need to carry around every... <laughs> you're a douchebag. <laughs> People carry around, like, their big-ass textbooks, and they've got, like, a backpack and everything on. Don't bother. Just carry your book in a backpack or, like, in your arms or whatever. And then put the rest of the shit in your locker. Like, take advantage of that. And if you want, then decorate it so it doesn't look so depressing or whatever when you go there so you're actually look forward to yeah look there. forward to going to your locker to see all the pretty flowers <laughs> and the one direction posters <laughs> on it or whatever oh another thing is school supplies i know people like really over exaggerate when they're like oh you need this for high school you need all this and blah 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 blah, blah. but honestly you need one binder dividers and some pencils that's it most of teachers mm -hmm. um Supply. What are you talking about? You don't need one binder. <laughs> you need two binders. I'm okay, sorry. well, two binders. Oh. Okay, one or two. You just need pencils and maybe an eraser. But most, compu most yes, computers, most teachers supply, like your rulers and protractors and all that. No, you need a, a ruler. I found. Try to savor the things that you buy so you don't have to go back and buy them. Yeah. Especially if you have your own money be really frugal because you don't want to spend yeah. it on stuff that you like end up breaking or have to rebuy it again it, it's just pointless and it, you know if you are buying like your mom and dad are buying things milk them <laughs> <laughs> i don't have to buy any school supplies this year like we're going into grade 10 yeah and all my stuff is still good from last year so i don't need anything i stress <laughs> this so much it's just so frustrating don't walk in there the first few days of school and act like an effing tourist <laughs> when you're like walking around with your schedule like memorize your schedule know where your rooms are so it looks like you belong there so people don't you don't get targeted yeah to be picked on and stuff by like older kids and whatnot uh, but I honestly found that being picked on like older kids wasn't really an issue. Yeah, it's not. But I think at all. that's one of the things we meant we were going to mention was things that are really over exaggerated and that's biggest thing. Like, yeah. In movies, there's always like the bullies and they're like the main ones. Okay, that does exist in like certain in each grade, but it's not like the whole school knows about them. It's like that grade knows about them. Yeah. They don't give swirlies. Nobody gives swirlies. Nobody shoves people into lockers. There's teachers everywhere. Honestly, like that stuff, that stuff is bullshit. They don't steal your damn lunch money. <laughs> That's probably the biggest and most well-known one, but it doesn't happen. Um, and who, whoever is like a really heart-throbbed girl, yeah. no guy is going to pick up your books for you. <laughs> no, if like you, that is definitely over-exaggerated. If you drop your shit, people are like trying to rush to class. They're just gonna like keep walking and your books are gonna end up in a completely different hallway and they're gone forever. So hold hold on to your books pretty tight. Yeah. You know, lose, use your locker or use yeah. your bag. Yeah, nobody's going to stop to pick up your damn books. Yeah, they and it need doesn't to get <laughs> their ass to class. So. Doesn't even matter how pretty you are, girl, just keep your shit yeah. together. 
and get your shit together. <laughs> When in TV shows, you're like sitting in the hallway, like talking to somebody like at your locker or whatever, you know, the heartthrob or whatever. Oh, I got to get to class. <laughs> no, because when the bell rings, you have to be in the classroom at your seat. Teachers don't give like and very much leeway. Just doesn't happen. And if your ass is late, you get detention. Yeah. Yeah. Even like 10, 20 seconds late. Yeah. Still, it's late. And it sucks because when you walk through that door, everyone's like staring yeah. at you like you killed somebody. And you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm usually the one that's like, carry on, carry yeah. on. Because <laughs> they're like... <sighs> but like, if you're being called in the hallway by your friend, do not stop in the hallway. Walk in the direction of um, traffic and just keep going to class. Yeah. Don't stop. You can hear all about whatever who this one did and whatever this one did after at lunch whenever your free time is but don't stop because honestly you'll end up being pushed around in the hallway or trampled yeah or someone might even call you out yeah yeah and people that's... get really pissed off when one you're not walking on the right side of the hallway stay on the right side like that's the side that you're supposed to be walking on so like if obviously you see people coming down the stairs don't keep walking on that side Move to the other side, that's, you know, it's got to keep in a constant flow of motion. Follow dress code. Don't follow dress code, it doesn't, like, show that you're, like, a rebel and, you know, I don't give a shit. Um, another one is when, if you do take the bus, move to the back. Do not stay behind the bus driver yeah, and, like, basically hog, like, the space, like, to come in. Don't yeah. do that. You'll just piss everyone off, including the bus driver. Like, just move back. Yeah, and plus, if you sit at the front, you don't know what's going on behind you. So, you know, you're missing out on all the entertainment. <laughs> Ask only girls for advice and directions in school. Like, if you can't find a class the first day or first second day, because I know how some people, um, they have all their classes all year long, but they alternate days, like day one, day two. Don't ask guys, because all they'll do is basically screw you over. Yeah. <laughs> the girls are more likely to actually help you than the guys. <laughs> like if you need help opening your locker or you can't find a room or yeah, just stuff like that. Don't ask guys, only ask girls. Yeah, don't even don't be afraid to ask even teachers. Like I yeah. had an experience where I had no idea where my classes were. And I ended up walking into the wrong classroom, sat down, and then everyone's like name was being called but mine. So I was like, oh, I need to get out of this classroom. <laughs> and they're like, uh, are you in this class? And I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> and then I ended up finding it after everyone was like outside of the, what is it called? Portable? Yeah. yeah. And, like all of my classmates were outside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, interesting. Uh, get um, involved. Yeah, that's a major one. It sounds really cliche, but literally get involved there's you'll meet so much more people and mm -hmm. i know a lot of uh guys and girls are like oh it's my first year i'm not really into that right now yeah, i'll just like, wait just i want to yeah hold just, back and not join sports teams like you meet a whole lot more people and you get like access to more things like if you're on sports teams there's like you get better uniform selection that's for sure yeah like we have uniforms i know a lot of people don't have uniforms they wear whatever they want but uh you can you get jerseys like you get jerseys okay you get out of school for practice you meet so many more people there's usually including teachers too yeah there's usually like an athletic banquet at the end of it too and you where you get free food yeah oh, that's bomb like we are probably the most unathletic <laughs> people you will ever meet therefore we're joining the badminton <laughs> team yeah, there's so many, even if you're not really that athletic, there's so many clubs that you can join and literally, they don't really care if you're skilled at what you do, they yeah. let you be a part of it anyways. And there's so much you can learn. Even getting to know teachers that you will have maybe later on in the year yeah. is pretty boss too. I know a lot of high schools have cliques. Try to be associate yourself with everyone, um, not like 
you know, single yourself with just one group, like you miss out on so many opportunities that way. And I know a lot of people say like, oh, grade nine's the bomb, like there's parties. Mm -mm. Yeah, no there's parties. no parties at all. It's Unless you're friends with like literally grade, grade 12s. 12, yeah, there's no parties. Like nobody throws parties because you can't drink, so what's the point? <laughs> I know. And whose house wants to be trashed for you yeah. then to clean it up again? Yeah, that's another thing that's really over-exaggerated in movies. Like the house party, parties, like the rich yeah. people have the house parties. Bull crap. Yeah, um, there were no house parties. So as a summary, pack a lunch. <laughs> Use your locker, okay? Don't look like a tourist. Don't stop walking in the hall. Have multiple groups of friends. Don't only talk to like your one group of friends. Basically act like you don't have any friends because people are more likely to talk to you if you aren't with a big group because you're less intimidating. Yeah. Like if, if people think that you already have your friends and you're not looking for any friends, What's the point in talking to you if you're not looking for any friends? They won't bother. So, just don't only talk to the one group of people. Ask only girls for directions and join sports clubs even if you're not athletic. Obey dress code. Yes. Like, keep your name good because in high school... Word travels fast. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You may not even know everyone, but... They definitely they know, know you. you. Yeah. So. <laughs> like, there's so many people that I know their name, I know what they're like, I know what they look like. They don't have a clue who I am. Yeah. Just so because true. of word of mouth. And it's almost always, it's not good things. There's going to be many people that like the exact same things as you and don't like the same things as you. So, there's no need to, like, change yeah. what you like and what you don't like just because you think, oh, well, nobody likes the same thing as me. There's going to be people that like the same things as you. You just have to talk to everybody to find them. Do not judge someone on their appearance either. Yeah. Like, you miss out that way. We hope this helps you, and please keep everything that we said in mind. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Bye!